A stagecoach stop outside Tombstone, Arizona Territory, September 20, 1881. Gonna try it for him again, Hollister? That yeah, may be the third time's a charm, Sid. Sorry, but uh, this is as far as you can go for now. My ticket called for passage to Bisbee. Who are you? Clay Hollister, Sheriff Tombstone. There'll be another stage along here in a few hours. A few hours? My time's worth money. What's the value you put on your life, mister? My... my life? Yeah. There's been an outlaw raiding the stages on this line. We think this one's gonna be next. You think so? Is that reason He's a killer. Sid? You ride along inside. First sign of trouble, you grab the floorboards, right? Right, Sheriff. An actual account from the pages of my newspaper, the Tombstone Epitaph. This is the way it happened. In the town too tough to die. Stone Territory. The stage was nearing Tombstone. It began to look as if nothing was going to happen. Stay back at that depot. I wish we had our horses. The way you winged that fellow, we had a chance to catch him. Well, nothing we can do till we get back to town. What's up? I don't know. I've seen that fellow someplace before. Nobody I know. Mm, I've seen him. Take care of the driver, Charlie. I gotta ride out again. Is he hurt bad? He's dead. What about the killer? Did he get away? I winged him. Well. Howl and Diamond. Oh, you remember us? Yeah, I remember you. I told you never to come back to Tombstone. Heard you had trouble running into an outlaw. Thought we might help you to run him down. Well, you wouldn't be interested. This one's a killer, not a defenseless Indian. Oh, we ain't going after engines no more. Ain't enough reward money in it. Anyway, that was an accident the time we killed the wrong one. Uh, you want to give us the information on this here outlaw? We'll handle it ourselves. There's no business here for bounty hunters. Most sheriffs appreciate us helping them out. Well, go find yourself one that does. I don't want to see you here when I get back. Hollister, third stage killing in a month. When is this outlaw going to be caught? I'm as concerned about this as you are, Mr. Mayor. Now, I don't mean to criticize our sheriff, but I feel we should bring in some outside help. Well, this may be a solution to our problem, gentlemen. 
I just printed these. Reward, $500 in gold coin will be paid by the stage company for the apprehension, dead or alive, of the outlaw murderer of Kim Monroe, Lem Bailey, and Sid Linden. It's a start in the right direction, but he's worth more than $500. Well, that's all the stage line thinks he's worth. Well, we have a civic responsibility to see that it goes higher. Well, what are you getting at, Fred? Well, post a reward that means something. Somebody will bring him in. We've got to make it profitable enough so that every bounty hunter in this territory will be willing to try and get him. Now, let's get up a real jackpot. Here's a hundred dollars to sweeten it. Well, I'll just see your hundred, Mr. Mayor. And raise you 50. <laughs> and the epitaph will print the posters free. Good, good. Come on, man, now, come on. This is only a drop in the bucket. Let's get this up in the thousands. After we get the money, the faster we get him. Looks like maybe we ought to stick around a while, huh? What about the sheriff? Forget the sheriff. Hello, Charlie. Something I can do for you, Mr. Donlin? Oh, I'm just making my rounds. I thought you might like to add a little something to the reward money I'm collecting. Sure do. Just wish it was more. That's all right, Charlie. Every little bit helps. I'll just put your name on the list here. Oh, don't bother with my name, Mr. Donlin. Just say it's for Sid Linden. Yeah, you know, that's the way everybody's donating. In memory of Sid, Monroe, and Bailey. Well, Charlie, you catch that killer, you'll get this money back with pretty good interest. Reward money? Yeah. Law officers aren't entitled to bounties. Catching a criminal's part of our job. Clay and me, we'd give a lot more than money for the chance to bring him in. Sign on them, Charlie. Well, maybe this will do the trick. Yeah, I saw that outside. Who bumped it up to 5,000? Mayor Donlin started it. Mm. Tom, what are you doing? Why aren't you in school? I was going later, Ma. Truly, I was. Mr. Clyburn's paying me two bits. Said this was a civic job. Sure, that's it. His name's Masters, Frank Masters. Who? The outlaw. Name don't mean anything to me. Mm -hmm. Thought you were looking at that woman and kid. I was. That's Lucy Masters, Frank's wife. His wife? And the kid? His Frank's son. I knew I'd seen that killer someplace before. Seeing her just now reminded me of it. Well, why don't we talk to her? Maybe she knows something. No, no it won't do any good. She has no interest in Masters. Hasn't seen him in a couple of years. Matter of fact, I understand she even brought up the kid believing his pa was dead. Masters lived here in town? Tried his hand at homesteading. And after his first crop fail, he just ran off. Saddled up and left his wife and kid. Look, Charlie, you, uh, you might as well have some dinner. I'll go out and walk the town. Uh, you guys ever work? <laughs> I told you to get out of town. We're going, Sheriff. You got no call to keep us from carrying on an honest business. Well, bounty hunting's one thing, but you two are scavengers. You got just 15 minutes. Oh, Sheriff. Yeah? Uh, my name is Bill Sherwood. I, I wonder if maybe I could talk with you for a minute. What's on your mind? Can we uh, make it private? You now have 14 minutes. 13 is very unlucky. Come on over to my office. Sit down, Mr. Sherwood. All right, shoot. I know where Frank Masters is hiding out. Oh. 
There's nothing like $5,000 to remind a man of his duty, is it, Charlie? No. No, it ain't nothing like that. That reward belongs to Lucy Masters. Why, Lucy? Oh, I'm just delivering the message for her. She told me where he's hiding. Thought she was through with Frank. I guess she was, Charlie. Until now. Yeah, that... That's it, on account of the boy. I'll draw you a map. Long as you know where he is, you take me there. You'll see that Lucy gets the reward? When I get him, she'll get the money. Pretty cold-blooded. Woman turning in her husband to collect reward money. Yeah. That 5,000 really got action. You wait right here. That's a sheriff. My horse is over here. Like they're in a pretty big rush. Ain't that that fellow had something important to tell Hollister? So? You know anything any more important than 5,000 bucks? You think he's turning in the outlaw? Ain't no harm in seeing where they go. If they go far enough, we may wind up doing just what he said. Getting out of town. Clay Hollister rode out of town with the informer, Bill Sherwood. The bounty hunters followed at a distance. Did you see anything back there? Dust? There's no wind. That's riders. Did you tell anybody else about Masters? No. And they're following us. You're the sheriff. Ain't there something you can do about it? There's no law against following us. What if he's after Masters, too? I have to take him away from me first. Let's shake him. It's like he's trying to lose us. I don't like this. Hollister's tricky. He could ambush us. For 5,000, I'll risk it. He's in there, through that crack in the rocks. Yeah. Drop it, Masters. September 21, 1881. The bounty hunters picked up Clay Hollister's trail. The sheriff waited for Masters to regain consciousness. <coughs> Why easy, Masters? You're hurt real bad. I didn't know it was you, Sheriff. Sure. You have saved yourself the trouble. Bandage ain't gonna help what I got. <coughs> Consumption? Doc said I had about a year, maybe. It was before your lead hit my lung. It's a lot of your lead buried in Boot Hill. Who turned me in? Can't say. Doesn't matter. I always thought I could get enough. Go to San Francisco. Enjoy myself that final year. There's a lot of men had that same idea and left their wives waiting for them. I always figured I'd make a big stake. Send my wife something. Five tries. All I get out of it is this. And three dead men. Think about that sometime, Masters. Come on. I gotta get you back to Tombstone. 
We're taking another trail back. It's gonna be a rough ride. You can do me a favor, Sheriff. Yeah? Kill me now. Save you trouble and me pain. We'll ride easy. <laughs> Hollister's riding with a wounded man. That'll make it easier. Let's go. Oh. Looks like I took the back way out. Come on, let's go. Here you go, Frank. Thanks. You trying to save me from hanging? I'd sure like to disappoint you. Reputation, let's make sure. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's going slow. There ain't no rush. They ought to hit that divide in about an hour. We can get there sooner than that. Come on. I guess we're all scared to die, Frank. Come on, this way. Well, how do we know he'll take that road instead of the other one? With a wounded man? Be sure to take the downhill trail, even if it is longer. Yeah, I guess you're right. We can hide out behind those rocks over there. That way he'll show us his back as he's riding by us. That's the way I like it. Come on. Hide the horses over there. Looks like we make it. What are they saying? I can't make it out. We can take the uphill road from here and be in town that much quicker. Come on. We're taking the other trail. Yeah. I'll make
make sure of the bounty. You get the sheriff. Got him. Get the horses. We gotta get up there. All right, Hal, drop it. Throw it away, Diamond. Don't shoot, Hollister. I I'm unarmed. Don't shoot. Don't touch the pistol. There's another body for you to rope on a horse. Get him. Where's the reward money, Mr. Mayor? I want to pay off tonight. Ms. Masters, you know the editor. Ms. Masters? May we come in? My son's asleep. about Frank, isn't it? They brought him back to town, ma'am. He's dead. That's your reward. My reward? He was right where you said he'd be. Where I said he'd be? I haven't seen or heard from Frank in years. Well, the man you sent took me right to where he was hiding. I didn't send anybody to you. Bill Sherwood. I don't know anybody named Bill Sherwood. Unless it could have been one of those friends of Frank's. giving me this because you thought that... Nobody more deserving, ma'am. Five thousand dollars. Fortune. Right after the baby came, Frank said... Someday he'd do something big for us. Past has run 
afoul of the law, it's a handy place to be. Cause your future's just as good as your draw in Tombstone Territory. Whistle me up a memory. Whistle me back where I wanna be. Whistle a tune that'll carry me to Tombstone Territory.